All right, gang, we're finally doing it. This is how to sound like Cliff Burton using just this. is the stuff of legends. He's held in very high regard in the bass community for his monster tone, speedy finger style, and his expressive use of fuzzwa in his solos. Let's take a quick look at his gear so we can get kind of a point of reference for when we build our patch. Now, when Cliff first joined Metallica, he was using a heavily modified Rickenbacker 4001 through a Sun Beta bass amp through massive 18-inch speakers. Later on during the Master of Puppets era, Cliff switched to an Aria SB1000 bass through Mesa Boogie heads and used a smattering of different cabinet sizes, including 12s and 15s. For effect pedals, Cliff used, of course, a Morley Power Wah along with an EHX Big Muff, and then later on an Ibanez Tube Screamer, a TS-808. That'll be important later. If you're interested in a way more detailed rig rundown, you should go to the Witch Bass channel. He's got a uh, two-parter episode on Cliff Burton that details just about everything that Cliff Burton ever used on stage and in the studio. Worth a watch right there. For our purposes today, I'm going to focus on Cliff's tone during the Master of Puppets era because it's a master of peace. Yeah, like, a, like a masterpiece. <laughs> The basic qualities of Cliff's tone is meaty and overdriven. There isn't a whole lot of like treble clank in his tone, but there are a lot of high mids. This is probably due to his aggressive finger style technique as opposed to using a pick. Where a lot of modern metal features a lot of treble clank, Cliff's tone is a lot more meaty. Meaty and rumbly, either way. Now a big part of any sound is going to be the kind of pickup and then its position on the bass. And what I found is that the single humbucker on Cliff's Aria is a little hard to replicate with a PRJ, even though I tried really hard. You can definitely get fairly close with the fenders, but I had much better luck getting that humbucker tone out of my GNL L2500. The neck humbucker just provides a certain je ne sais quoi, something that I just could not get out of the P or the J. For the settings on the bass itself, I'm using it in passive with series mode on, treble and bass up full, and just using the neck pickup. All right, on to the zoom patch. We're actually gonna start by trying to replicate the clean tone in the interlude part of Master of Puppets, and then we'll build from there. So the Zoom B14 doesn't have a Mesa amp on it, but it does have an SVT, which I think is pretty close. They're both tube amps, they're both big and loud things. It works. For the cabinet, I found the classic 8x10 Ampeg fridge to be the closest. I tried out some of the other speaker sizes to try and, and emulate you know, Cliff's preference for the larger speakers, but I just found that the fridge sounded way better. I've got a tiny bit of drive dialed in on the amp itself, but this is the basis for our clean tone. It's not, it's not that clean, but it, it's clean enough, right? Now with just the amp in the cabinet, here's how that sounds. All right, feeling pretty good about that one. Now, remember how I mentioned the Ibanez TS-808 Tube Screamer pedal? The Zoom has that exact pedal with a little bit of an upgrade. This one has a clean blend, which you would not find on the original vintage pedal. What makes that so cool is that Cliff was actually using a bi-amp setup, sending a clean tone to one set of amps and then his affected tone to another. So while we're pretty limited on the Zoom pedal with line splitting type stuff, we can kind of emulate that with the clean blend on the Ibanez pedal. This actually works perfectly for dialing in just the right amount of overdrive for the sound that we hear on the rest of Master Puppets. I gotta admit, I'm pretty happy with that. That seems pretty damn close to me, but we're not stopping there. 
Let's see how close we can get to close Fuzzwa tone as heard on For Whom the Bell Tolls. So because I have the Zoom B1X4 that features the expression pedal on it, we have access to a bass wah on here. In addition, we also have access to Zoom's NYC muff, which is their version of a Big Muff Pi. Seems pretty close to me. And quite like the Ibanez Tube Screamer, the muff on here has a clean blend, so we can continue to try and emulate that biamp sound. After trying the fuzz and the wah in both orders, I found that I liked the fuzz before the wah, but you know, kind of up to a matter of taste. Here is how that sounds. You know guys, I think I think the Zoom's wah pedal is just not quite there. I, I messed with this for a long time and I could never get it to quite sound right. There's just so much more to like the Morley wah that I think that the Zoom just doesn't quite get there. I would love for them to add like the Morley power fuzz wah to the, the pedal. I think that would be really cool, but the, the, the standalone wah that they have on here just doesn't, just doesn't quite do it. If you are really chasing the Cliff Burton tone and you want to get the zoom, I would probably just get the one without the pedal on it. It's like 30 bucks cheaper. And then go and get yourself like a, an actual Morley Fuzz Power Wah. In case you missed it, the Bass Channel actually did an entire month of Wah reviews and they've also reviewed you know, the Cliff Burton Signature Wah. Go check all of those out. I think your best bet is to get the Power Fuzz Wah if you're chasing the Cliff Tone. That one to me sounded the best. As always, you can find my Zoom presets on my Patreon page. Do give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see terrible pictures. And follow me on TikTok if you want to see cringy hot takes. And, and I'm not even the one uploading them. That's just what's there. Just whatever you do, don't share this on Reddit. Those guys don't like me over there. You'll just get downvoted. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this jaunt through Cliff Burton's tone. I haven't done a, an entry in this series for a while, so it was good to get back to it. Let me know down in comments down below who you'd like to see on this series next, and I'll catch you on the next one. AMP out!